So my family loves a really good curry and a homemade dalpuri. So I usually grind my dal and stuff. When we're very busy and stuff, I order from our very good friend, Lolita. She's our dalpuri lady. She does a spectacular, very consistent dalpuri. But boss man here. Good morning. <laughs> Check this out. He wanted some curry goat today. So I got up early with Aidan. Both of us actually got up very early with Aidan and we sent him off to school. I washed, cleaned, cut up the meat, seasoned up there. And we are doing like a curry stew style requested by Mr. Ricky again here because he was fascinated yeah. with the serving and the display of food in Fort Lauderdale at Joy's yes, Roti yeah. Delight. Check them out again, guys. And whenever you're in Fort Lauderdale, that's one of the one of the best roti shops that we indulge while we were there so we'll be doing also um some pumpkin a little bit of pumpkin and a little bit of curry aloo or potato i'm going to be doing i already have so this is some purple onion or red onion and garlic i shuffled i have bandania and this is going to go in the curry aloo not the pumpkin and i have some saif there and i'll add hot peppers to taste while cooking so, so looking forward to this dish, Eric. Absolutely. So we're heading out to get some other to find some next snacks that you need, right? Mm -hmm. A couple of little things, you know, we're always on the go anyway. Okay. But this is a start to a beautiful day, a beautiful morning so far. The weather is yeah, gorgeous, it's, really it's nice, cooperating. Yeah. I will be throwing on the curry outside and the two um, veggie dishes I'll be making inside. So the pumpkin and the curry aloo I'll be doing inside. And I'm doing some dal puri and I'll do some dosti roti today. So you know what's those two roti? Yeah, yes. Yeah, with pumpkin, you know, so like in Trinidad, um, my mom used to make the dosti roti, especially when we cook pumpkin. Before, yes. Yeah, so two in one, <laughs> two in one little roti. I'm gonna do some of that instead of the boss up shot, and uh, our little homemade dalpuri. Where is it? Join us. Let's recreate this joyous restaurant. Moment. Yes, and my friend Pedal actually had brought this earlier this year for me, so I have this roasted pepper choker as well as this coconut chutney, modern law. We'll be indulging with this. Um, that'll work perfect, I think, with the curry and stuff. Any dessert we're doing, Ricky? Because mm -hmm. usually I know when you have your curry, your beak sweet, you know, you want something little. Uh, let's see, let's see what happens. A little nice to eat. Yeah. yeah, all right guys, so again, we are both running out yet again to go do some errands. Join me back in this kitchen here soon. My right, partner? Kitchen. All the way busy. Are you on the road or are we going to shop? That's right. Let's go. So this morning, we're not going too far to make market. We're around the block, down the road, by one of our favorite spots, where we have a lot of uh, subscribers and fans that work here as well. So Anna is at Food Marketplace. Food Universe. Food Universe yeah, Marketplace. Food universe. Yeah. Look, so, I'm, look, I'm, I'm waiting for you to like, hit this video. You know, look, the day, the day we do that, we go in and food network, eh? So, um, I'm coming to do the food shopping, but he's really coming to make a donation to Yolanda Vega, guys. <laughs> so, hence me saying, I yeah. wanted to hit that there. I need a bigger kitchen, Ricky. I know. For all the cooking guys be doing. Come, let's go in, guys. See, see, a girl well prepared, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Can I wrap it up? Check out. Let's go and see. And you, like, you like my colorful sneakers? Check out my colorful yeah. sneakers. Yeah. 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 Rainbow colors and things, yeah, by. man. I represented everybody, you know. What? All right, let's go in here. So one thing about this supermarket, if, if you're not strong, you need to put a sweater on. It's always cold and nice in here, man. Freezing. But I think that's good to keep all the products well. And everything is good here, fresh. So with all the products on this side. Yeah, and over here, dairy stuff. Isn't there something the way how they have all these things spread out? Makes you makes you don't know what to buy when you come sometimes to shop. Everything is like in the four and five to choose from. So, I try coconut. Oh, what's supposed to be one piece of pumpkin and an alu? Look. How oh, this girl I be. Never fails. So you got everything you wanted? 
I have everything. I have pumpkin actually in the in the freezer home, but it's hard and, and it's a big amount. I don't want to take it out. That's why I bought a little piece. Okay. And um, potato I needed because I had used a lot of potato salad and stuff over the weekend. Okay. Okay, give me the back. Go ahead. Pop this on. So, mission accomplished. Now we need to go and start burning pots. Uh huh. All right. Let's go back into the kitchen. Back from the supermarket, potato is already done peeled. I have my little piece of pumpkin, and I had frozen pumpkin in the fridge, but. This is a little piece I want just to cook because it's too much. I have a big bag there. I made Ricky a quick breakfast. He's having some whole wheat bagel with tuna. I'd work in there, Rick. Proper. Proper. So we're going light this morning because we're looking forward for a big breakfast. Uh, mm -hmm. Big lunch, sorry. Big lunch, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. one piece for me, one for you, one for Lana. No, I had a banana already, buddy. No. And I'm having my cup of java this morning, my coffee. Oh, cheers. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Cheers to life, guys. Excuse me, I'm taking a sip of my coffee. How's the bagel? It's good. With the tuna. Perfect. So last night I um I didn't know what to eat and I made some tuna salad and we had it with cricks. So mm -hmm. this is the remaining here now. Where he's having his tuna. It's a healthy with... bite and it help. It's it's very filling also. Yeah, we'll hold holy up again, as you say. You're gonna mm -hmm. eat a lighter because he doesn't fall to this curry goat and um the roti and stuff. You wanna make some rice also, or you don't want a rice? No, you know you rice man. Let's keep it for the uh, dalpuri. The dalpuri, yeah. I think that's a good idea. All right, enjoy your breakfast Thank and you. stay tuned again, guys, to see everything that's being thrown down here. Well, I just dropped off Ricky to work, and I had to come down to Needles Heads. So this is. A special place that do all of your embroidered uniforms. You see the NYPD. They have the patches, whatever prints and stuff that you want, hats, aprons, and so forth. I had to come and get some of Aidan's logos for his shirts for school because when you buy the polos, they are not on um, the logos are not on the shirts, so you have to have them custom done. Needles Head, they're located at 8801 Myrtle Avenue. So again, for all of your patches, let me just advertise. The guys were a bit shy to be on camera, but I met a lovely gentleman by the name of Dennis, and we were chatting. See the patches, embroidery, team uniforms, silk screening, custom logos, t-shirts, hats, aprons, jackets, etc. All right, so for all of your needs here your embroidered needs and prints please check out needleheads again located at 88 let me get it right here 8801 myrtle avenue well i came back in and i started with my two vegetables i have the pumpkin here which i just Chunk it with all of the aromatics. I have it on low heat and it's already starting to build down and cook down nice and slow. And here I have my curry aloo also. So, this is just a little bit of curry powder and turmeric I use. I do not put achar masala or jeera. However, at the end of cooking, I do put a little bit of the ground jeera just to um, flavor it. To the end when the aloo has already cooked in its own um, natural juices and water and stuff that I would add to cook it. Then I would add a little bit of the achar, sorry, not achar on sour, jira to the top of the aloo. I chunked um, the goat outside, so we'll go in a little bit and check up and see how that pot is bubbling out there. I'm gonna go knead my flour now, let it rest for a little bit, and start rolling out, filling out my dalpuri and Rolling out my doster. Okay, so we'll go bubbling away. Looks and smells really good. And again, I, uh, I'm cooking this outside here. I want to take this time on slow heat. And it will take a couple hours to cook. I'm not going to pressure this meat. I want to take this time off the with natural juices and I'll add the water out here. And after a couple hours, we'll be ready to eat. It smells really good. Well, I just came back inside and look, the pumpkin is finished. It cooked so nice and smooth and beautifully. At the end, I just add a little brown sugar in this. It's delicious. 
and here's our curry aloo also I left it with a little more of the liquid because once it starts cooling down it's gonna thicken up here is our dal that I grind and seasoned up with bandania pepper garlic I'm letting it sit out just to air out a little more and there is my flour that I just need I want it to sit and rest for a little bit so while I'm in the kitchen here I have a very few special birthday greetings to do so I'd like to say happy birthday to my brother-in-law Ralph he celebrated his birthday earlier this month on the 7th happy happy birthday to you he's camera shy he doesn't like to be on camera and happy birthday to my wonderful nephew Raj so Raj is my best friend's son Petal's son and she's like a sister to me I should say more than even a best friend Happy birthday, Raj. Many, many more blessed years, my dear. 25, I can't believe. I used to always break Raj's shop and tell him um, he's gonna be the next president, which I still very, I'm still very optimistic about that. I would also like to wish Stephanie a happy birthday. And Stephanie is celebrating her birthday on the 14th. So happy birthday, sweetheart. I love you very much. And I hope to see you guys soon. All right, so I'm gonna start shortly with my dal and stuff. We're in good shape here. It is 12.57, approaching. Um, well, it's actually after lunch time right now. So I'm gonna roll out the dal and start cooking them. And meanwhile, my pot of goat is cooking and bubbling away in all its glory and deliciousness out there. My dal is all filled out, you know, I got 12 dalpuri here i filled out the lois i'm about to start rolling them out and i got six of the little dosti roti so this is gonna sit and soak for a little longer while i cook the dalpuri i have my rolling out station ready here my tower is hotting up and my trusty dabblers all right the goat just finished it is so soft and so delicious. I'm going to bring it in shortly, but I'm going to start cooking these bad boys here first. And then I'm going to plate it up and show you guys how delicious this meal comes together. This curry cue. Ricky should be home. I hope he's going to come home for lunch. So let me start with my dal puri, right? To the dal puri. It's on its way here. That's when it's filling up. I'm cooking here. We're in good shape. I have another one rolled out. As I continue to cook these delicious soft and thin dal puri here. Well, my dal puri is all finished here. Nice and soft and delicious, and I am cooking my dosti roti here. Oh, so, again, this is the effect of the dosti roti. You can open it up. I use my hands here. Ooh. And you get the two pieces. And I love this dosti roti with pumpkin, especially. You see? You just stick both together and it's so thin. Look how thin it is. I'm gonna make them very thick. Okay. Look at that. One down, five more to go. I just finished up with the roti and check out this here, guys. This is the star of the show here, you know. Nice curry goat. I left a little gravy or sorwa as we could say. In case anybody wants a little rice. And here is our delicious dalpuri. I make them on the bigger side and then I cut them back. And here we have the six little dosti roti. I folded them and leave them here. Eaten with more digging to this dosti roti. Again, our pumpkin. And our, our curry aloo over here. So Ricky should be coming home momentarily. He called me before. And Mr. Aiden is on his way home as well. So I'm sure he'll be hungry. We're just waiting for him to come in. 
Saeed, I gotta call your name on a Saeed. Check out this Dalpuri here, boy. Nice and soft. Watch. And I cut them back again because I make them on the bigger side. Dee taught me well enough. Watch me. She taught me very well. Look who's home. Boy, with a spread like this, you know you're gonna have seconds. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're capturing the moment we spent in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. And I think you did an awesome job here. Oh, thank you. Now let's see mm -hmm. if it tastes as good as it looks. Going oh, wow. to the kill. The boat is soft, boy. I'm gonna break up piece of the dial for me here too, guys. Yeah, man. Let's see. So this is the first time for the year I am having goat because when we were in Florida, I had conks, right? Yes. I had conks with the different vegetables and roti at Joy's roti shop. I wasn't eating meat as yet. Cheers, guys. The goat is really soft. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For you to say it's the first time you're having this goat the goat i mean i gotta you. tell you you are the goat <laughs> great job thank you great job yeah it's really um delicious i didn't take so again thanks to pedal she had bought me this from trinidad this modern noise a roasted coconut chutney and we have the roasted pepper choker but i have one two three four five of the cherry peppers so i'll Go with that first and then I'll of course indulge because I, I like those condiments also to have. That makes you a spicy goat. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm taking this thoughtful for Mr. Robin. Mm -hmm. Robin don't eat goat. That's, that's the next thing I'm going to make Robin eat when he comes think, by us. Yeah, I think you could persuade him to he have will, it. He will. He will. How I cook the goat and he'll eat it. But honestly, uh, going to that restaurant that day to have, uh, was it lunch we were having with Priya and Shao? Um, yeah, we went to Friday on the boat ride with the kids and stuff and we went and we had lunch. No, but then... The curry with all of these things also, um, we had it twice. We had it with Dave and them also the morning. Oh, yes. I had the conks and mm -hmm. stuff with Dave and Usha. And then we had lunch with Priya and Sham, Farmer Sham, yes. But it was so nice seeing how they made this plate. You know, the, yeah. the stuff that, which is exactly what this is here now. Yeah. One helps the other. It, you know, it, it works together. The little piece of meat, It complements each dish, yeah. yeah. So like the curry, the little pumpkin. But um, again, this is like traditionally like... I, I have never seen it like if you come if you shop on liberty avenue like in the roti shops and stuff and if you buy curry chicken it's curry chicken they serve you right. i've never seen it like with the combination unless you ask them to that's true you know to put it in but there put, put some greens with the meat yes some vegetable or whatever when in florida we didn't ask and it came as a platter like this and it, it worked it complements everything very well the little goat the little um pumpkin the little bit of curry um aloo so also i was telling danny's wife i was telling alicia shout out to miss lynch i was telling her that what i was gonna make that you wanted um for me to make this goat in this dish and she said in suriname 
that they also do it like this, but they use Bodhi or Bora, as the Guyanese folks would say, and they use Baji uh -oh. as, as green, as oh, vegetables. Okay. Yeah, like Trinidad, just more use like the pumpkin, mango to curry. We use like the curry mango or the curry aloo, like what I did here today also with the goat. And you could use any type of meat again that you want. And this dish is referred to as curry cue. Trinidad just refers to, refer to as curry cue as Joe. So I'm going to make a little box for Joe and send it over because yeah, I Joe, told him. Um, Joe mentioned curry cue. Yes, for that's exactly what it is. So oh, why is it always, always using mother-in-law? How come nobody knows father-in-law? Because mother-in-law more spicy. They're more hot. I'm enjoying her. Yeah. Very delicious. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys. So we would like to thank you guys for joining us today on this little expedition, having our little errands and our little trip to the supermarket. I had to run and go get Aidan's logo. I met a very nice gentleman there and I will enclose all of the information there. And um, thank you again, once again, for joining us here. We are now indulging and here, cheers. Thanks for a wonderful lunch. For a wonderful day. Now gonna have we having I'm now I didn't have breakfast, I had a banana. I'm now gonna have lunch slash dinner with Ricky here. If you guys haven't, please like and subscribe. Thank you again for all of the love, the support, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah. Take care guys. <laughs>